Hello and welcome back to Reddit Insanity number 16. I'm Michael. I'm Noah. And we are the Knights of Entertainment. <laughs> and apparently he wants to be Batman. Shut the fuck up, I'm Batman. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I'm Batman. <laughs> All right, so we got some more funny Reddit insanity for you today. Uh, first one is by Expensive Highland. This person puts, So my partner and I have been together for almost four years. And of course I love her. She is the woman I am going to marry and the only person I want to be with. But also, not that you'll believe me, but I am straight. <laughs> well, I consider wait, myself... Uh, wait. Wait. What? <laughs> It's already confusing, man. Yeah, because he's like, oh, you won't believe me from all the all the homosexual sex I've had, but I am straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like he's getting to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I consider myself an ally. I am not gay. I'm not opposed to the idea of bisexuality. So he's gay. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not into dudes like that, so I don't think uh, so I don't think I am. He doesn't think he is. <laughs> I just had a really great dream last night. Last night, I had an epic romantic dream. I, it was some forbidden love where I was in love with a man. The dream was seriously like a movie. I mean, it was awesome. Nothing uh, not safe for work happened either. Well, unless you count passionate kissing is not safe for work. But it wasn't a dirty dream. At all. It was just romantic and epic. <laughs> Okay. I would question his straightness. <laughs> uh, and as I should be and as I should be allowed to enjoy when my brain serves me movies at night. But where I fuck up is that I apparently said the man's name out loud. Oh, oh boy. I'll be honest, didn't even remember the dude's name, but my fiance my fiance sure did. <laughs> she asked me about Julio. Julio. <laughs> Man's got that Spanish fever. <laughs> Don't worry, senor. I'm taking good care of you. <laughs> and why I kept calling for him last night. The passion of my kisses will rain a river down your spine, son. The funny thing, you just start shouting like pussy boots. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Talking to, uh, what is it, uh, what's the other character, Kitty something? Uh, can I can't remember the, 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 the female. Selma Hayek one? Yeah, the female cat. I don't remember. Can't remember its damn name, but that's that all it reminds me of. Uh, I thought it'd be funny if I said, the man of my dream. <laughs> I mean, technically true. But she did not seem amused. So I downplayed it a bit and didn't mention it, how much I enjoyed the dream. She didn't even uh, like that joke. Uh, how would I tell her uh, that if I had an affair with a man in my that dream? I, how would I tell her that I'm gay? <laughs> <laughs> she then accused me of uh, being closeted and said I needed to sort my shit out. What because, the fuck? Because dreams are what the subconscious wants or thinks. Oh, I see. So I want to I wanna jump out of a, an airplane <laughs> with a burning parachute like Tom Cruise. Like, I had my dream last night. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. And insisted that it didn't sound like an innocent dream. Which, again, nothing sexual happened. <laughs> He's going to keep saying that because something probably did. <laughs> there was butt stuff. <laughs> uh, other than passionate kissing. And also, it was my dream. And like I told her, I've had dreams where I'm an actual elephant. I don't want to be an elephant. I don't know what her deal is, man. I hope she gets over it soon. Because Julio will sweep me off my feet. <laughs> Sounds like a joke, uh, a joke uh, post. I don't know. <laughs> I can see somebody trying to, uh, to justify it in their own mind. <laughs> Like, no, wait. have you ever had a Julio in your dream? I was a Julio in my dream. <laughs> For him? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> we connected. <laughs> Subconsciously. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Next one's by um, Reverse Flash 928. Oh, God. It was me, Barry. It was me all along. <laughs> you like how I lied those up? I was, I, was, I was a Julio in your dream, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this person puts, yep, our worst nightmares have happened to me. Uh, I was in my room about to jerk it like everyone does. I don't jerk it, sir. I masturbate like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I close and lock my door and go sit on my chair. That's boot up my PC. Closed and locked. 
Yes, closed and locked. Well, you can't close and then lock. <laughs> no, you can't. You, you can't lock and then close. Or can you? Yeah, you can. Depends on the kind of door, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> I think I've, I lost a brain cell. <laughs> Go sit in my chair, boot up my PC, ready to wank my weenie. So. God, if he's got to say it like that, he shouldn't be jacking off at all. Yeah. So. I'm on a website and I needed to go full screen. And I clicked on the full go. screen button. Fuck yeah, full screen. <laughs> That's a video right there. <laughs> I clicked on the full screen button. Or did I? Seems like it, did, it didn't because I clicked the cast to TV button instead. I didn't realize after like 30 seconds. The worst part is that my kitchen is very near my living room and my mom definitely saw. After realizing the cast to TV button was glowing, I immediately turned it off. I didn't even jerk off after that. I was so scared and my heart was probably beating at 200 beats per minute. I went down for dinner and both my parents gave me the glance. <laughs> you nasty mother. The porn that I saw, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> they, said to go to the, they said to go to their room for a chat when I'm done eating. Oh, I'm literally typing this as I'm eating. I think I'm dead. TLDR. I accidentally streamed porn to my living room TV and my parents found out. I'm in trouble. Update, they were disappointed, not angry. I wouldn't be disappointed. Well, you keep that shit in your room, you nasty motherfucker. Well, they were probably like, oh, this This is what you're watching. I wouldn't be disappointed. <laughs> that's disappointment. Not really. I mean, that's I'd do it, and I'm sure my kids in the future will do it. Just keep it in your business. Don't don't fucking broadcast it throughout the entire fucking house, please. Could you, could you not put it on a fucking widescreen in the living room? I would really appreciate that. Your grandma was here. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, this is my future scenario life. <laughs> You've already got it playing. I'm, right. man, I'm a man of 80. I'm, I'm, I should have be been a spy. I'm 80 moves ahead. Oh, God, this one's bad. Uh, the oh. name. <laughs> Not the story, the name. Oh. Uh -oh. Messy fucked me raw. Hell. Person puts. This happened like 15 minutes ago. I was on the toilet when I noticed a bug on the bath mat and grabbed some toilet paper to, to squish it. I thought there was another bug in the fibers of my bath mat, but instead, what I grabbed seemed uh, what I grabbed seemed to be a small dingleberry that must have come off my ass whenever I ran out of toilet paper and scuttled across the house to go get the, into my storage room to get more toilet paper. You might just keep it in your bathroom. How small is your but just keep enough toilet paper in your bathroom. That dingleberry must have been there for weeks, and I never noticed. Fucking gross. I immediately go take my bath mat to my washer and jump in the shower and scrub my feet. I have severe OCD and a fear of germs, so this has caused a massive anxiety attack. I'm, it's taking every fiber of my being not to want to sanitize the whole house and wash everything. I don't blame him. You don't want shit all over your house. Well, apparently he got up and... Th there was shit still coming out. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, so this happened before the bug thing. He just happened to notice the dingleberry after the bug. Yes. So if there way, if he wouldn't have seen the bug, he wouldn't have seen the dingleberry. So then, I mean, if your house hadn't fucking have been infected by your own shit, I'm sure he would have been fine. Yeah. Like, where's these shit stays coming from in my bed? And why is it on the fucking wall in the kitchen? What the hell is happening? <laughs> Like, there's not streaks of shit all over the floor, is what I'm saying. No, but it, it, him being uh, OCD. Him being that, yeah, being so uh, germaphobe. Yeah. I'd just be like, fucking gross, there's a piece of shit on the floor. <laughs> uh, next just clean that one area. <laughs> no, he washed it, took a shower, he was wanting to freak out now. Yeah, the shower, I'm not understanding. You have a sock sign? You just took your socks off. Apparently he was barefoot. Oh. Well, I, I always shit butt naked anyway. I don't like having my clothes next to me at all. <laughs> I don't want shit on my clothes. <laughs> Information we don't need. Hey man, that's a that's a that's a clean way to do it. Just fucking fold your clothes, put them in the corner, dump it out, and put it back on. <laughs> Something about having it underneath the toilet is just gross to me. It, it, and he does this in public restrooms. <laughs> no, that's why I never go out in public. That's why. Take <laughs> everything. I only piss. That's why I only piss in public. I never take a shit in public. They actually did it that. would. It would have to be the most horrific, <laughs> like a gut punch from Mike Tyson level shit for me to dump in the bathroom. There was a sitcom that did that, and I can't remember what. I think it might have been. Uh, it was probably Seinfeld because Seinfeld has done everything. And I think it was George. Where uh, he took off his pants or something like that to take a shit. 
but there was a sitcom that made fun of that and actually did do that where uh he came out of the bathroom and didn't have his pants on or something like that after he went huh i think it wouldn't be george constanza <laughs> it wouldn't be george but hey man i don't want i don't want dirty clothes <laughs> Uh, next one is by uh, you Bob. wipe and then when you turn to wipe the shit just drops in your fucking shorts and shit or your box you know what I mean you never know what could happen when you're, you're shit involved so keep your clothes away uh, uh, there's questions that I'm not gonna ask <laughs> you should you keep yourself clean <laughs> next one is by bumfuck Alabama <laughs> this person puts well I haven't won the stupid prize but uh is uh, slowly dawning on me that I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I way too damn old for this shit. Female sent my girlfriend one of those anonymous STD things. Why would I do such a thing? Yeah. Because I just found out it was a thing and thought it'd be funny and wanted to know how it worked. And it wouldn't uh, let me do it, sending a message to myself. So I sent it to her. After seeing it had got uh, it. After sending it. I was going to text her and tell her uh, about it because I wanted to see, like, what the message looked like. Ha ha, you got syphilis. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, but then I said, uh, wait, let's see if she says something to me about it first. I bet yeah, you can see where this is going. It's been two hours. She hasn't said anything about it. And we are texting, having a regular conversation. Does this mean what I think it means? Or am I just a dumbass who is overthinking my stupid, uh, my stupid decisions? I'm also too stubborn to text and ask why. Maybe I'll uh, update if she says anything about the text. So uh, her thought is... Does she have a? Uh, does she actually have an STD? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> She's not saying nothing. It's like oh, you'd like... probably find out pretty quick if you have an STD. Uh, There's some that you don't like. Uh... Herpes. <laughs> Herpes. <laughs> a silent killer. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it from toilet seats. So I always shit at home. <laughs> yeah, I, that's. Why would you even want to do that though? Like, why would you want to send a message like this to somebody? Stupid. People are stupid. Yeah. Like those YouTube prankers that do really horrific pranks and they get shot. It's just a prank, bro. I know. Did you see that? Yeah. It's just stupid. Like, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to go out as far as to say he probably deserved it. <laughs> like, you don't go fuck with people like that. Well, she did. Is that the two women? No, there was another dude that got shot too. Oh, I thought I was talking about the STD thing. Oh. <laughs> That she never uh, finishes it. That's just how it ends. Oh. All right. Uh, next one is by uh, Pella Sketchy. Not hella sketchy, but Pella Sketchy. So it's partly sketchy? I guess so. This person puts, I'm a dirty, dirty bitch. That's how she starts it all. Okay. So now, uh, now that we've got that out of the way, you know when you're not hungry, but just like to chew on stuff, and that stuff happens to be old crumbs on your plate, that's what I do all the time. It's a weird habit, I know, but that's what I do. Sometimes those crumbs have fallen next to the plate. Most of the time, I don't eat those, unless they are big enough to annoy me. I like my bed semi-clean, or at least the illusion of nothing being there. I also have a cat who likes to sit on my bed. Now, this would be reason alone to stop eating crumbs. Let me, but... let me guess the scenario here. <laughs> she, she ate a piece of his shit, probably. Close, close, close. <laughs> But I am unfortunately a dirty bitch, so I keep at it. Fuck are you doing? I'm trying to fix my microphone. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, for work, I teach Dutch online, and that was what I was doing today as well. Before I started, I had eaten a healthy amount of bread, and there was plenty of crumbs to nibble on. Like I, I'm trying to figure out why the fuck is she wanting to create crumbs to nibble on? Yeah, like what the bed? fuck? How much fucking mess do you but, make? But I guess she did. She said she's a dirty, dirty bitch. So I guess so. <laughs> well, uh, I don't think I've ever made that many crumbs eating bread. I don't. <laughs> Jesus think. Christ! Where she fucking crushing it to pieces that she eats it? <laughs> Just crush it on the bed yeah. and then eat it later. Uh, while talking with uh, my student, I was eating some, and I noticed a bigger one next to the plate. I was Absent. like, fuck yes. Absent-mindedly, I grabbed for it, put it in my mouth, and it wasn't crunchy. It was sandy and coarse and very clearly not a crumb. Nope. It was a piece of cat litter, a fresh piece my cat brought in from over at the cat litter box outside of my room. I might stop eating crumbs now. Yeah. I would, too. I would be eating fucking cat litter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> like, hard as rocks sometimes. <laughs> I've seen rock-shaped cat litter that we sell yeah. in my stores. Yeah. 
I'm like, why would you even? If you have a cat, don't eat anything off of the. Fucking, yeah. Oh, like it could be literally, it could be cat vomit, it could be a hairball. You never know. Exactly. Uh, next one is by uh, Lightning McScallion. They put, I was out of shaving cream and I figured I would uh, dry shave my legs. After all, I have dry shaved my face with an electric razor and even did it once with a razor without any problems. So it's a, it's a dude doing this. Cool. Yeah. Hey man, I, you want to be hairless, be hairless. That's my motto. Might as well go to a waxing place then. No, that's painful. <laughs> be like 40 year old virgin. Just get fucking wrecked. <laughs> This is not a good look for me. <laughs> I was horribly wrong. I am not used to shaving my legs and ended up cutting myself multiple times and getting serious razor burn. I was already a bit itchy at first, but it got more heated and then redder and redder afterwards. The worst part is for some reason I was stubborn and decided to finish the entire leg before heading to the store and getting shaving cream, even though I knew it kind of wasn't going well. If you ever had, are in a similar position, just get more shaving cream instead of being lazy and stupid like me. Oh, the, so the situation of the situation is terrible, but let me finish the situation before I alleviate it into yes. a better situation. Yes. I've played many a game like that. <laughs> like, fuck it, just keep going. It'll be fine. Uh, next one is by that guy, 19967. Who? <laughs> that guy. Oh, that guy, okay. That guy. Uh, yeah, I know that guy. This person puts uh, gents. Sometimes it's just not worth it. I hate him already. <laughs> they call me a gent. <laughs> He's like, where he wears one of those fedoras and taps yeah. it to the ladies. <laughs> Madams. Uh, my girlfriend and I were having... You don't have a girlfriend, you lie a second shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend and I were having a nice, quiet evening. We're talking nice weather, wine, and some comfy patio chairs. Just enjoying each other's company. She made the abrupt comment of, how were you not taken when I found you? It was a uh, really sweet thing of her to say. So, of course, my brain decided, let's ruin the evening. When I joked, I how do you know her. I'm not taken? I just <laughs> killed her. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, God. This story took a dark turn. Not that dark. <laughs> uh, how do you know I'm not taken? You could be the mistress right now. My wicked smile died quicker than a deep uh, pressurized sub at 13,000 feet. Oh, don't say that. We just had an incident. <laughs> when, I, when I turned and saw her face, she is not happy with me. And I'm sure, <laughs> I'm not sure how many flowers or Starbucks is going to take to make up for this. My, my wife's going to love this story when I tell her later. <laughs> and now I have the privilege of warning you gentlemen to sometimes just be quiet. That's all. Have a good night. How can I talk to that? You know, whenever he told her, it's like, how do you know you're not the side piece? <laughs> that would be, you know, that would piss off almost any woman. <laughs> Next one is by Killer of Furries. Uh, man, does a man loves him the furry. He's a killer of them, though. That's what he says he is. He's a furry killer. He's by the fur. He's by the furriest of the furries. <laughs> he's the one that goes to the furry cons. Like, the, like he's just finding out in the desert, just banging away. <laughs> Uh, this person puts, uh, context, I'm 16, been boxing for eight years, lifting for two, and a couple of months ago, I started to fight people for money. Been fighting since he was eight years old? Jesus. Guess so. Uh, as previously stated, I fight people for money, illegally, and I started to build up a <laughs> reputation. Christ. Started to build up a reputation for being like 16 and 0, because most people I fight think they the shit, but they ain't trained. What is he, Mike Tyson? I guess. Jesus. <laughs> they are those uh, when I, I when I'm mad I see red. Oh, well, those, people. yeah. So sixteen and zero isn't as impressive as it sounds. Anyway, it's decent money for my age, eight hundred to eleven hundred a month, depending on who I fight and what uh, and whatnot. Wait, how many fights is it? If it's like two fights, that's a lot of money. If it's if, fight like if, it, if it's sixteen, yeah, like fuck, <laughs> I'm fighting sixteen people in one month for eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred, so he's gonna pay like fifty bucks a month. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that! <laughs> what he should do is he should uh, have his friend his friend bet on him uh, on the side, and then they make even more money. Yeah. Every time he wins. 
I get a lot of people wanting to fight me and uh, whatnot because a lot of people play some bets and stuff, so I bring in some cash. There you go. I really want out of this, though, but the guy running the organization is blackmailing me by threatening to turn me in to my coach and parents. My boxing coach will immediately kick me out for stuff like this because it happened to him in the past. And I... Uh, well, fuck it. Jesus. And he'll do a fucking uh, Lifetime movie. I know. And he'll uh, whitelist me from other gyms. No. My parents would be blacklisted. Uh, he put whitelist. The fuck is whitelist gonna do to him? He'll only be able to be trained by white people. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've never heard of whitelisted before. Maybe it is something. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I would think blacklist would be the. It's the one. Yeah. Yeah. He put whitelist. He doesn't know his colors. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> my parents, on the other hand, want uh, me to use my boxing for a career if I choose to pursue it. Too late. I really do. And in the beginning, told me that they're, uh, they'll not let me back in the house if I end up in street fights on purpose. I don't really want advice because I don't think there's a way out of this. I'm going to try to strike a deal with the dude running it to let me do more fights and then let me leave. I'm gonna beat his ass first. Thank you for he- hearing me out and have a good day. You, so why the fuck did you tell us? Exactly. What the fuck? I don't understand the purpose of that either, but I find it stupid. So. I think he just had to vent, maybe. Sometimes he's got to let it out. Yeah, you get a journal. You got to vent at the world. <laughs> the world needs to know your struggle. No, it don't. <laughs> Sometimes, no, it don't. Uh, next, uh, last one of uh, this Reddit series. Uh, incognito pair. This person puts... After my husband got out of the military, he decided to go back to college for a niche degree. The options for this degree led him attending a very conservative Christian college that is somewhat frequently in the news for being, well, themselves, I guess. That's the background. So, we moved to this new conservative city that is basically propped up by the crazy college and moved to an apartment somewhat nearby... Uh, far enough away that it shouldn't have been filled with students. Ah, uh, the na- uh, naivety it was. Uh, we get internet set up, scroll past the 500 FBI surveillance van names, and thinking we are being clever assholes, uh, shrouded by the anonymity of an apartment building, decided on Hail Satan. And that's where we <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit I would do. (laughs) (laughs) Surprise. We move a year or so later. We move to a house in the same conservative city. In a neighborhood surrounded by young families and grandparents. We moved our internet over and instantly had the oh shit moment. It's obvious us, the new neighbors, who are trying to make a good impression... Who else could it possibly be? With a hell Satan they name. Can't, they can't prove a damn thing. I don't give a damn. <laughs> we don't remember the password and have been locked out from logging in, changing the name entirely. There's no way for us to reset the name without contacting the router company. We are stuck with it for the time being. Sorry, neighbors. I promise we're friendly. That'll be fine. Hail Satan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is something you would do. Oh, people. <laughs> But that is all that we got for this episode of Reddit Insanity. Anything else to add before we head out? Yeah, I used to be a boxer, and I was going to be a world champion, but I ended up uh, uh, blacklisted because I had to, to, to do street fights. <laughs> and then you got an arrow to the knee? I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer just like you. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. I had an arrow in my fucking neck. My guy was fine. But your, your bitch ass can't take one to the knee? I've had one in my fucking eyeball. <laughs> I've seen that shit in fucking... When you go into third person, just arrow sticking up your asshole and everything. <laughs> but you can't take one to the knee, you bitch. <laughs> You're a bitch, sir.